In this video, we will learn how to use the Image button within the Snappy Platform WYSIWYG Editor. As you can see here, there is a new tab that is open, and images can be used a number of ways within your app. When you are using many of the different buttons here, you have the opportunity to assign an image to those buttons, and that opportunity comes right within utilizing the button itself. As an example, I may pull over the Call button, and I have the ability right here under Specify My Icon to change the icon from the little green phone that we use by default. There are a number of buttons where you have the ability to do that. Additionally, however, we have specifically the image element, which you can utilize for a few different things within your app. Pulling over the element and dropping it in. Again, specify your image, and you can click on that to decide what image you are going to utilize. There are a number of different options that you have in selecting your image. By default, oftentimes images will pop up right here based on what you have named your app. You also can upload an image from a web page. So if you are using your business, for example, and you're pulling photos directly from your web page, you can specify that URL here. You can find images on the web by putting in a search string, for example, mill buildings, and a search will be done to find various mill buildings, which you can then utilize as the image. You also can specify a specific image URL. So for example, if you are using a file sharing system like Dropbox and you know exactly the image you want to utilize, you can enter that in here and the image will be pulled directly from that link. Or you can upload an image from your computer. So we will pick an image here. Once that image appears here, sometimes it can take a few seconds, you click OK. And you have the ability here, as you can see, <clears throat> my image is over here on the left of the screen. And you have the ability to uncheck Save Original Aspect Ratio and decide what size you would like your image to be. It may just be an accent on your page, so you don't necessarily want it to be too large. And oftentimes you have to play with the numbers here on the height and width to get exactly the sizing that you want. and now you can see that our image has resized to be just a small image and that allows you obviously to put additional text other elements or even more pictures on the same page additionally you could use this as a background image so if you want this to sit behind whatever additional information you might be putting on this page you would simply resize it to the size of the page that you needed width by default the largest width that you can go is 320 height is virtually endless. Obviously you're going to base the height on how much information you're going to put on your screen determining how much uh, you want to cover with your image. Eventually you will see that the image doesn't look right when it's stretched out too long. However, for the sake of argument here, we're going to put in a number and it will resize itself. Again, sometimes it takes a few seconds to think about it before putting it together on the screen here. Now that we've created this background image, you can then put other items on top of that. Again, for example, pulling over our call button, and we can resize it if we would like. Obviously, you would be configuring this with your information. And now we have this lovely picture sitting in the background with our image on top. Of course, you can add text on top of here as well. Another way that you can utilize images is if you want specific text to appear in your app, you can certainly use our text element to do that. Or you may find that you want it to be certain colors, uh, different fonts, a special word art, whatever. Um, I've already pre-created some things using just simple Microsoft Word program. I utilized some various font and images to create a banner. Uh, within Microsoft Word. Put the information in there, used the snipping tool functionality. Again, you might have other programs that you are more familiar and comfortable with. And I saved that as uh, an image. I can then put that into my app. So I'm going to go out and pull the specific image right from my computer. Right here is the banner. And once that loads, I can click OK and you can see it again over here on the left within your app itself and you can also resize in this case as I want it to be a banner it's going to go the full length of my screen 
and it will adjust appropriately. And now you can see that I have added the banner here as an image element. Now I'm going to move this image down my background image so that none of it is covered and readjust the element for my call button. And that is how you use the image element within the snappy WYSIWYG editor for creating images within your app.